Hello viewers, so welcome to my channel. I'm Hashim Ali Khan. Now in this video, I'm going to explain you the new topic that is process of formulation of accounting standard. Last video, the first video on the subject of accounting standard, I have explained you the meaning of the term accounting standard. What are the objects? tips of accounting standard what are the advantages and limitation all these things i have already explained in the first video so if you have not watched go to the playlist select the subject accounting standard watch the first video be clear about the meaning objective advantages limitation then you come to this video in examination these type of questions will be asked explain the process of the formulation of accounting standard who will make the accounting standard, who will issue it and what are the steps required in the formulation of accounting standard. All these things I'm going to explain to you. So watch the video till the end to get the complete command on the subject of accounting standard. So before proceeding, take the screenshot of the points which I've written on the board, then I'll explain all the points in detail. So now I'm going to start the process of the formulation of accounting standard. Actually, accounting standards will be issued, will be prepared by the ASB, accounting standard body. It's the body which is made by ICAI, Institute of Chartered Accountants of India. This is the professional, highest professional body in India to regulate, to control, to make research on accounting. So this ICAI has constituted a board and that board is named as Accounting Standard Board, ASB. Now accounting standards are developed by the Accounting Standards Board. The responsibility of making the accounting standard has been entrusted by ICAI to ASB. Secondly, while formulating accounting standard, ASB gives due consideration to the prevailing conditions and practices in India and relevant international standards. Because due to globalization, all the world economies are integrated. So for that purpose, the Indian accounting standards should be in conformity with the international standards. So while making the accounting standards, the ASB should consider what are the conditions in India, what are the practices prevailing in India regarding accounting, right? And it will, it will consolidate those conditions with the international standards. Then it seeks the views. It is not completely dependent on ASB to make the accounting standard. It will seek the, I mean, views of the government and government, professionals, industrial organizations and other interested parties. So it will take the information, it will take the data views from government or professional bodies or any other interested party. They will collect, they will seek the views and guidance. And the following procedure is adopted by ASP issuing the various accounting standards. Now I'm coming to the main point. What are the steps involved in the formulation of accounting standard? Now watch carefully with full concentration. First one, determining the need for accounting standard. First of all, we have so many issues in accounting, so many topics in accounting. So first of all, ASB needs to find out on which topic we require accounting standard, why we require accounting standard. So if any topic in accounting is there which is more ambiguous, on which different opinions are coming, on different methods are there, they will select the topic. On that topic, accounting standard has to be made. So first of all, determining the need for accounting standard on that particular topic of accounting. Secondly, constituting study group. After determining the need of accounting standard on a particular topic, the second step is the ASB will constitute a study group, SG. The study group consists of the members of ICAI. The members of ICAI. 
तो एस बी देन कंस्टिट्यूट अ स्टडी ग्रुप कंसिस्टिंग ऑफ मेंबर्स ऑफ इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ चार्टर्ड अकाउंटेंट्स ऑफ इंडिया द स्टडी ग्रुप सपोर्ट द एस सी एस बी वाई दिस एस जी स्टडी ग्रुप इज मेड स्टडी ग्रुप इज मेड टू मेक द ड्राफ्ट टू हेल्प द एल एस बी इन मेकिंग द अकाउंटिंग स्टैंडर्ड सो दिस स्टडी ग्रुप इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट बिकॉज एक्चुअल वर्क इज बींग डन बाय द स्टडी ग्रुप the study group supports the scb by considering various aspects pertaining to the area for which accounting standard is being framed so whatever accounting standard we have decided for that accounting standard what is the scope what is the data required all these thing will be collected by the study group so first step defining the need determining the need for accounting standard or a particular topic secondly constituting the study group third exposure draft <clears throat> a draft on the topic of accounting standard is prepared that is called exposure draft ed this exposure draft will be prepared by the study group and it will be submitted to the asb so what is this exposure draft contains the sg prepares an exposure draft of the proposed standard the exposure draft contains four items the first item objective and scope of this accounting standard what is the objective why we are making the accounting standard on this topic and what is the scope of this accounting standard secondly defining the different terms which are used in this accounting standard because a number of tech, uh, i mean uh, uh, terms will be used in accounting standard which have their own specific technical meaning so it has to define the meaning of those terms first one the objective and scope of standard secondly defining the terms then third recognition and measurement principles how to measure how to recognize this accounting standard and lastly presentation and disclosure requirement so ultimate this exposure draft must contain how this accounting standard will be applied how it will be disclosed in the financial statements so these four items must be there in the exposure draft which is prepared by study group then analysis of the draft once a draft is prepared containing all these four elements then analysis of this draft this exposure draft should be analyzed from different angles so asb considers uh, the draft prepared by study group once the draft exposure draft is prepared the study group will submit the exposure draft to the asb for making the analysis now asb will study will scrutinize all the complete details in the uh, exposure draft if the asp feels that draft needs to be revised or modified it can either make the necessary changes or refer the same to the study group now after receiving this exposure draft the asb will see whether it requires some changes or modifications if it requires then asb will ask the study group to make the changes otherwise if it is 100% perfect then exposure draft will be again handed over to the study group now circulating of the draft once it is approved by the asb now this exposure draft has to be circulated among different parties so who are the parties to whom this exposure draft should be given after necessary revision or changes are made the asb now circulates the exposure draft to the council members once if it is approved by the asb this exposure draft will be circulated among different professional bodies like the members of icai institute of chartered accountants of india icmi institute of cost and management accounting of india icsi institute of chart company secretaries of india then rbi reserve bank of india sebi securities and exchange board of india to all these parties this asb will circulate the exposure draft 
the draft is also circulated to department of company affairs comptroller and auditor general of india cbdt central board of direct taxes indian banks association industry bodies there are many industries bodies such as confederation of indian industries confederation of indian industries and federation of indian chamber of commerce and industry and association of chamber of commerce and industry of india these are the different industrial organizations so one of the job of the asb is to circulate the exposure draft among the members of professional bodies rbi sebi and apart from that the other associations like department of company affairs and controller and auditor general industrial bodies such as cii confederation of indian industries federation of indian chamber of commerce and industry associated association of chamber of uh, industry and commerce in india to all these parties now discussion and finalizing the exposure draft the asb will get the feedback from all the parties to whom this exposure draft was given they will give their own feedback on this exposure draft now they have to analyze the feedbacks received from different parties discussion and finalizing asb discusses draft with representative aforesaid bodies to understand their perspective on the exposure draft based on the collective feedback of all aforesaid mentioned bodies the asb finalizes the ed so after circulating the ed they will get all the feedback analyze all the feedback from different angles and make the final exposure draft the final exposure draft will be made by the asb now circulating the exposure draft after finalizing the next step circulate after incorporating feedback obtained from discussions to finalize ed is now circulated among a wider audience comprising of members of icai and the public at large first of all it was circulated only among professional bodies and industrial bodies and the asb will collect the feedback from all the bodies and evaluate now the exposure draft is ready to be circulated among the members of icai and also of the public to get their opinion then a draft should include the ed should include a statement of concept of fundamental accounting principles related to the standard so this ed exposure draft should contain a statement of concepts and fundamental accounting principles what are the concepts what are the fundamental accounting principles applied in this accounting standard secondly definition of the terms used in the standard there are many technical terms which are used in the accounting standard the meaning the definition of this of those terms should be disclosed then the manner in which the accounting principles have been applied for formulating the accounting standard how all these things will be dealt in making the accounting standard that should be disclosed next point is regarding the presentation and disclosure requirement in complying with the standard in complying with the standard how it will be disclosed in the financial statements how this accounting standard will be incorporated in the financial reporting then class of enterprises to which this standard will apply so which class of industries which class of businesses this accounting standard will be applied that will be that should be stated and lastly date from which the accounting standard will become effective effective so these are the terms which will be given in the exposure draft when it is circulated among the public now finalizing the ed this is the second last step after getting the feedback from the public also then it will make the final exposure draft after due consideration of feedback received from members of icai and the public the asb finalizes the draft of the proposed scheme and submits the same to the council of icai final authority of issuing the accounting standard is with icai council of icai so after getting the feedback from members of icai and also from the public they will make a final exposure draft 
the ASB will make the final exposure draft and this final exposure draft will be submitted to the council of ICAI. Now the last and final step of this accounting standard is issued of issuing of standard. The standard will be issued by the authority of ICI, Council of ICI. The Council of the Institute will consider the final draft of the proposed standard. It can modify the draft if it feels that modification is necessary. Finally, the accounting standard is issued by the Council of the ICI. The Council of the ICI will review the exposure draft. If they are satisfied, if their council is satisfied that the accounting standard is perfect from every sense, then the council of the institute will issue the accounting standard. So these are the nine steps in the process of formulation of accounting standard. First step regarding the defining, the determining the need of accounting standard. Final ninth step is issuing of accounting standard by the council of ICAI. That's all. Now, the next topic, last topic in this video is regarding NACAS, role of NACAS and NAFRA, N-A-C-A-S and N-F-R-A. What is the role of these two bodies in accounting standard? In examination, short question will be asked regarding what is the role of NACAS, N-A-C-A-S and what is the role of NAFRA, N-F-R-A. Now, first of all, the full form of this NACAS, National Advisory Committee on Accounting Standard. N stands for National Advisory Committee on Accounting Standard, NACAS. It's a committee constituted by central government. Remember, the NACAS is an advisory committee which is constituted by the central government to advise the central government on the formulation and laying down of accounting policies and accounting standards. Because government play a very important role in the whole economy. So government has set up one board, advisory board, National Advisory Board on Accounting Standard, NACAS, in order to help the government in explaining the accounting policies and accounting standard. The National Financial Reporting Authority, NAFRA, National Financial Reporting Authority, NAFRA, is an authority that is constituted by the central government as per the provisions of the Companies Act 2013. So first of all, NACAS was prepared, but later on, by the pa passing of the new Companies Act 2013, the government has constituted another advisory body. This advisory body is called NAFRA, National Financial Reporting Authority. So it will take over the role of currently performed by NACAS. Because NACAS is an old authority, the role of NACAS has been taken over by NAFRA. Now the complete authority of reviewing the accounting policies and accounting standard is in the hands of NAFRA, National Financial Reporting Authority. Now accounting standard will be notified by the central government in consultation of NACAS. However, till the NAFRA is constituted on the com new Companies Act 2013, the central government may prescribe the standard of accounting as recommended by ICAI in, consulting, in consultation with the NACAS. So whenever an accounting standard is issued, the NAFRA uh, will analyze that accounting standard and guide the central government regarding the consequences of this accounting standard and also in the accounting policies. So in this video, I have explained you about the process of the formulation of accounting standard and the role of NACAS and NAFRA. Inshallah, we will continue the next topic on this accounting standard in the next video.